Oh, oh yes. Orange. Yes, see it's right now. This is the one that we call, it has a common name, Milky Cap. Milky Cap. Milky Cap, yeah, okay. Break so it? this is a perfect nice one, but we're going to break it anyway. And <laughs> look, it's got orange milk at the base of the gills. Wow. Is it edible milk? This one is. What makes these events important? Well, I think it's a way of getting information out to a wider audience about a group of organisms that most people don't think about very often. And they certainly don't realize how important the fungi are in the biosphere. I mean, I'm always going around saying, no fungi, no forest. You know, that's, a, that's a good saying because it's very true. Every tree in the forest has a vital relationship with some of the fungi that live in the soil there. What happens in the end is there's a little hole happens there. And then the spores inside, which are dry and powdery, if a, if a raindrop falls on it, they'll come puffing out the top. Oh, so they use rain to They use rain to, to, to disperse the spores, yes. That's what I find really interesting about uh, mushrooms, is that each one has a really They've different, got different way. Yeah, that evolution goes in many different directions. Well, look at the variety of organisms that live on the planet. Oh. Was there a highlight or two you'd like to share from your trip today? I would say that the, uh, the chance to take a bunch of young people up the hill into an area that was very rich with a wide variety of mushrooms was really a wonderful thing. Uh, it's 20 years since I stopped teaching full time now at the University of Waterloo uh, and, and every now and again to get back into teaching mode is such fun. And look at it. Yeah. It's got a big thick veil on it. See, that's part of it. Oh, yeah. wow, that is a veil. That's the veil. That's the ring, you know. Fungi also impinge on many other aspects of human life. Also, there's just a sheer joy of knowing something about unusual objects, you know, and thinking. I also think it's lovely to show people these things because they're so beautiful. But you see the, the variety of them, and that's a, just a classic russula. And it's Rusula and Lactaria. This doesn't make any milk, but it's just as brittle as the Lactarius because it's got those uh, spherical cells in it. Mm.